Hi everybody, it's Mirav, and now I'm going to teach you how to edit the articles. So there are two ways to do it. You can do it on the front end, or you can do it on the back end. We're going to start with the front end because it's much, much easier. So the first thing you need to pay attention is that you are logged in. So click on login, or you can have one here. And sometimes you'll have a module that says login. As you can see, I'm already logged in, so I don't have to log in. So let's just get to it. I'm going to go to blog and I'm going to want to change one blog item. So here's one that says fifth blog entry and there's some text here, some sample text and a picture and what I have to do is I have to click the edit icon to edit this blog entry. Okay, so now we can see this article, how it looks like. And as you can see, there is a red line here that indicates that everything, is, oh, everything that's under the red line is the full text, and everything on top of it is the intro text. What it means is that when you see a list of articles, you will only see the intro text, you will not see the full text. But when you o click to see the full article, you will see everything. Now, let's uh, first uh, change the title. We're going to delete this one and copy the title from somewhere else. You can have it ready. You should have it ready. Let's copy it here. Let's delete everything. You can keep the image if you want or you can delete it completely. Let's just delete everything. That would be easier. And now let's copy the whole blog. And let's paste it over here. And now we need to decide where we want to put the break, which means it's only going to show the top part, the one that's before the red line. So we're going to click Read More, and it just puts the break here. This is the red line. And if it's too much gap, we can just eliminate this gap. So now we're done and adding the content. If we want to add an image, we can do that as well. There's another video tutorial that explains how to add images to your articles. So this is how you do it on the front end. Let's save it. And now let's do it on the back end. But first let's take a look how it looks like. You see, this is the new item, the, the, the edited item. It has the title we entered, it has the content and all, all of that. Now let's do the second item. Let's do it on the back end. So this is our back end and we go to content, article manager. And in order to find the article, we need to basically, let's copy this title so that we can find it easily. Let's paste it over here. This is the easiest way to find the articles. When you have hundreds of them, it could be a little tricky. So here is the article. And this is how it looks like on the back end. Again, let's delete everything. Let's delete the title and the alias as well. Let's go and grab the real content that we want to have here. So here's our content item that we want to copy. So we're going to copy the title, paste it over here, and also in the alias. But you don't have to put anything in the alias. It's just going to put something else. Uh, it's just going to create something for you if you don't put anything there. And let's copy the article itself. Okay, now we need to decide where we want to place the break. Oh, let's get rid of all the stuff that we don't need. I think the break should be over here. You don't want to have too much content on the intro text, so let's just make it over here after the first sentence. There we go, and let's eliminate that space. Okay, this is it. So this is where you save, and 
If you want to change different parameters, you can do it over here. For example, if you want to show the article rating, the author name, the curated date and time, and all that stuff. So for now, we're good, and let's save it. And let's take a look on the front end, see how it looks like. I'm going to refresh this page. Here it is. Mission accomplished. So this is it about how to edit your content items on the front end and on the back end. Thanks for watching.